Once I studied opera, ugly, she was in denial. Even when I visited and vocalized, she was in denial, didn't exist. I listened to music, and Walter, now her other husband, the latest one, he started to do like, well, admonish me. Mach doch mal die Kirchenmusik aus. Mach doch mal die Kirchenmusik aus. Like, take off the church music. <laughs> I was like, Baroque, right? Because, you know, he being uh, whatever political engaged, he thought that was wrong. <laughs> yeah, not very educated, I have to say, though. <gasps> so she was in denial. For 10 years, she didn't know I was an opera singer because she didn't want it to know. When I studied French, that was in Mexico. Okay, I studied here French too, but I, I, that was a business French. When I studied, like, when I did my diploma in French, and now I, I moved over to France, she got angry. Remember? Education. Now you have to go scroll back to the video of earlier this day, and I'm going to explain everything again. She got angry. When I went to visit, and I went to the museum once, the very large museum, really cool, and I got myself a book, an art book. She got upset. She almost spit me in the face because I had an art book now. It's totally absurd. But think about France. How can you be upset? It didn't cost her a dime. She had nothing like nanya. Why would she be upset if I educate and forward myself? So her entire life was dedicated to spit me in the face. And it took a very long time for me to understand that she is a narcissist and that nothing will make her ever happy. Because I had effort myself to make her happy because I didn't like to see her or anybody else unhappy. So I like to have a nice table. If I would make her breakfast, she would spit me in the face. That's meinst du doch gar nicht! Hello, hello, hello. No, because my volume control goes loud. That's how she spoke. Horrible. In my life, I would speak or did spoke like that. She means I make a breakfast. She said, that, that, do not really mean that. Huh? Only a manipulative person can assume such a horrible thing. I did not understand that she was very manipulative. No, she wanted Karchman's house. That's why she endured. Now he died of cirrhosis. <laughs> I have no remorse. <laughs> Lindsay? <laughs> and... If I would put the table on, I would put a nice table, but I'll keep it all pretty. Let me know if you need this. I can take her off. And she called me princess. And princess is, of course. I don't know why she would, of course, say it in German. It's the same. You want me to say it again in German? No, not like that. Princess and the same thing. But that's a bad thing, so a good thing. What the heck? Although she did learn how to make salads. I don't know. I must have inspired her. As I began cooking. When I was 14. She said, well, one good day you started cooking. That's impressive. Uh, no, I didn't write a cookbook. Oh, what would you... Co okay, so we moved to culture. Here, I got cans of ravioli. That was my food. I was standing in a lonely kitchen, very dark. Yeah, clean. She was clean, that too. Very clean. Oh, yes. Everything was clean and neat. All the time. Absolutely. But uh, a lonely, tiny, tiny can of ravioli would stand on the counter with a can opener and an empty pot next to it. So that was my thing. I was then I came home alone again, opened my can, ate my ravioli. And when we came to Karlschmidt, she wanted to go modern. And we got TV dinners, frozen. That would deliver those things for a while. That's kind of disgusting. But no, I had all food. I mean, suddenly from ravioli I had actually meat and vegetables and potatoes. How interesting. Now well, there she must have started cooking a bit, right? All the food I told you eventually. Yeah, well, how long now? What I know about German food. No, everything I told you I know about German food is because she cooked it. I don't remember in Kinderheim. I don't remember what I ate or how. I have no memory there. Yeah, I ate probably good. Yeah, because it's a, it's a Kinderheim. You had to have all sorts of good things. 
Yeah, and three meals a day too. It's in the dark. No, everything I know because she cooked it. I can make a list. I remember. If you want to know, again. And I'm thinking if there's anything new to add right now. Get it? She loves my my, my guts, and she loves my butt, and she loves everything about me. Because I reflected her stupidity and ignorance into her. Because she could have studied if she was really into it. She had read so many books. And she had them all there, stacked. It looked good. Yeah, why not instead of getting drunk in the evening with her man? Yeah, either one. That one and the new one too. Why not going and read a book and study if that's what she's interested in? No, it was just a farting attitude of a dumb narcissist. What else would she have studied at university? And what would she have done with that? 